Mayor Adams facing another court hearing this week in his federal corruption case. And now he is leaning on local faith communities and trying to get back to business as usual. The mayor spent time at several churches over the weekend, and he is expected to visit another one today. Eyewitness News reporter Phil Tate live outside Gracie Mansion with the latest on the mayor. Phil. Yeah, Mike, good morning. On Friday, Mayor Adams walked into a lower Manhattan courtroom as a defendant, and this morning he hopes to continue doing the work of the city serving New Yorkers. Well, this after a faith-filled weekend, after he appeared before several congregations here in our city, including Bronx and the Queens. Well, he's reaching out to his base of supporters. He was received with a standing ovation at the Emanuel Presbyterian Reformed Church and gave remarks also at an installation service of a new reverence at a Queens church. Now, there he wasn't confronted with allegations rather showered with prayers and support. Now, this is he faces several federal charges outlined in a five count indictment accusing him of crimes from bribery, wire fraud and accepting improper campaign donations. Now, Adams went before a judge Friday for his arraignment and pled not guilty, maintaining his innocence. Now, as Adams legal woes continue on Friday, according to sources, another top aide to the mayor, Ingrid Lewis Martin, had her Brooklyn home searched. Multiple agencies are in interested in her, including the same prosecutors that charged the mayor. Now, her phones were also seized upon return to the United States from a vacation in Japan, and that's according to her attorney. Now, while many from the mayor's inner circle have been swept up by federal investigations, including himself, no signs of stepping down anytime soon. While the attorneys handle the due process, I'm going to handle the management of the city. And that is what I've said over and over again from the day that I was elected. I'm going to manage the city, and we have been successful in, in, in doing so. And I'm excited about continuing to do it for the people of the, of the city. And that he will try to do. Now, on the mayor's public schedule for today, he's expected to appear at a sanitation department promotion ceremony. And then at noon today, he's expected to make a public safety infrastructure announcement. That's the very latest outside of Gracie Mansion. I'm Phil Tate, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.